Hello friends, are you feeling bored sitting at home? Come on, let's have some fun. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet and dance with us. It's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Christ Embassy India Children Church. And today we are praying for our children ministry pastor, teacher and coordinators. All children ministry is expanding all over India through cells, churches and online churches. So let us pray. Pick up your hands. Close your eyes and pray with me.
Hello friends, how are you all? Today we are going to learn a beautiful language which is sign language. Do you, do you know there are so many benefits of learning sign language. Sign language gives your brain a good workout which means you can focus on your studies and things better. It improves your peripheral vision and reaction time. You can communicate with babies too. It improves your communication skills. It helps you become a better listener and improves your body language skills. Wow! So come on, let's learn sign language. And our parents can also join us in this. Today we are going to learn song in sign language. Hooray! So come on, let's begin. Oh, Almighty God, we praise you all night. O oh, Rabba, you reign magnificently, O Lord. We declare your majesty. We proclaim that your name is exalted. Magnificently rule, victorious, your power is shown throughout the earth. And we exclaim that you are mighty, lift up your name, for you are holy, Lord, we sing it again. All honor and glory In adoration We bow before your throne We declare Your majesty We proclaim That your name is exalted Holy Magnificently rule, victorious, your power is shown throughout the earth. And we exclaim that you are mighty. Lift up your name, we lift up your name, for you are holy alone. We sing it again. All glory, O Lord, and in adoration, we bow before your throne. Ah, in adoration, we bow before your throne. In adoration, we bow before your throne. Yes, O Lord, you are mighty. Uranda, King of Kings. It's time for Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hello friend, it's Rhapsody time, reality time. Today message is, what are you saving? For we all are to build in many things. If we, anyone does not to build in work, he is a a perfect man, Abel also, too bradley, the whole body, James 3.2. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. What are you, your words like when no one is watching, do you speak kindly? Huh? And with words of love, you should, your words will show how natural Natural you are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why it's so important you are watched. The kind of words you use let your words be full of love and grace is such that touch how you, you will be drawn to God. Remember your 
द लाइट ऑफ युअर वर्ड मॅथ्यूज फाईव्ह पॉईंट फोर्टीन लर्न टू यूज द राईट वर्ड्स बाय स्टडिंग गॉड्स वर्ड ऑफ टेन दिस दिस वाय यू वल कीप द राईट इम्पॉ इन्फॉर्मेशन इन युअर माइंड विच विल वी हेल्प यू स्पीक द राईट वर्ड्स अवेल ए मॅन स्क्रिप्चर रिडिंग कॉलिशन्स फोर पॉईंट सिक्स हा ले लू या प्रेस द लॉड लेट्स प्रे आय एम अँड एक्सक्लेंट एक्झाम्पल टू अदर अराउंड मी इन माय वर्ड्स अँड डीड्स ए मॅन थँक्यू बाय बाय इट्स टाइम टू हॅव सम मो फन कम ऑन स्टँड अप अँड डान्स विद लेट्स एन्जॉय say i'm blessed i'm excellent and wherever you are with your friends your brother sister parents just give them a high five and say welcome hallelujah and this is our year the year of gathering clouds praise the lord and in the last few sundays uh, we are talking about creation how god created the entire universe and so we learned so many new things from the bible hallelujah and from today we are starting a new topic and it is the foundational truth of creation praise the lord so we'll see uh, we'll have a little more detail on how the world was created what are what is the foundational truth of creation praise the lord and today's topic is sound cold yes sounds interesting right yes it is indeed very interesting praise the lord so yes, um, i will ask you to read two verses from the bible so make sure that you read so you get a more better picture so you can read uh, ezekiel chapter 37 from verse 1 to 10 so what happened over here was ezekiel was standing in a valley of bones there were bones lying all around and he, and when he saw the bones he said it was very dry very dry and god asked can these bones live he said god only you know praise the lord and when you read you see god asked him to prophesy over the bones prophecy means to speak divine revelation which has life and can give life and when you read the verses you will see that as ezekiel the god asked him to prophesy when he started to prophesy there was a noise and the bones came together as he prophesied there was a noise and the bones started to join bone to bone hallelujah Isn't it amazing? Have you ever heard? Ezekiel said, the bones were very dry. Hallelujah. But as he spoke, he knew that mere words won't help. He knew it was not just revealing words would be right, sound, good. When the bones 
started to join, you know, bone to bone, without any mistake. It shows that every bone had a sound code. And the moment the word was given, they knew where to join without any mistake. Praise the Lord. One of the many beautiful benefits of having the scripture is that we can know God's ways and principle. And we can do the same thing what God did and shape our life after God's pattern. Genesis chapter 1 shows the detailed description of how God created the entire world with words. Praise the Lord. God spoke words to bring things into existence. You know, God said, let there be light and there was light. Hallelujah. And in the same way, God created everything by words. Hallelujah. Have you ever wondered, why didn't God just make things to bring them into existence? Why did God talk? Why do words? Praise the Lord. Because by talking, we create a sound code. And the original source of material for creation is sound. Hallelujah. That's the energy produced by sound. Speech creates waves. Hallelujah. When we speak, there is a sound wave. Hallelujah. Here in Numbers chapter 20 verse 8. If you see, God asked Moses to speak to the rock. Let's read the verse. It says, God said to Moses, Speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth water. And thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beast drink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why did God ask Moses to speak to the rock? Have you ever thought that by speaking to a rock, the rock can bring forth water? But that is what God asked Moses to speak to the rock. Praise the Lord. Why did God ask? Because the rock had life. Like any other living like any other thing that had life. Hallelujah. It has intelligence. It has memory. And like everything else in life, it is programmed to respond to word. Remember how everything was brought into existence by words. God spoke. Hallelujah. Everything came into existence by words that God spoke. And that is how everything came into being, came into existence, came into words. And that is why everything that has life is been programmed to respond to word. That is why God asked Moses to speak to the rock. And when Moses spoke to the rock, it gave water. Everybody drank and not few people, there were, there were so many of them. And not only them, but their animals, their cattle were also with, there with them. Everybody, hallelujah. One from one single rock. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As I said, speech has sound wave, which has sound code. You can say sound code can be information, account, instruction, meaning. You know, when an object moves from one place to another, it is said that it possesses energy and that is kinetic energy. It is said, you know, when something moves from one place to another, it is said that it possesses energy and it is said to have kinetic energy. When electrons move through a substance, it is said to have electric energy. Similarly, when we speak, we utter words. It creates creative energy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it has the ability to precisely create what you are proclaiming. Hallelujah. It can create precisely what you proclaim, what you are saying. God said, let there be light and there was light. 
precisely. It created what God spoke. Praise the Lord. And the same power is with us. Hallelujah. When you speak ugly words, your words will take an ugly form. But if you speak beautiful and edifying words, your experience will take the same form. So it is very important as a Christian what we speak. Never speak wrong words. Never speak ugly words. No, no, never. As a child of God, be conscious of your words, the kind of words you're using, the kind of things you're speaking. Hallelujah. As we learn today, when we utter words, it produces creative energy. So if, you say, if you're saying the wrong things, yes, it, your experience, it will take form into an ugly experience. But in the same way, if you speak the right words, beautiful words, words that edify, your experience will take form of the same. Hallelujah. So it is very important that you are conscious of the kind of words you are using. The way you speak. Praise the Lord. That is why it is very important to know the word, to read the word of God. Because that will help you to have the right mindset. When you have the word within you, it will show in your words. You will always have the right words. In the same way, the way God created the entire universe with words, in the same way, we can speak forth. And remember, when we are speaking forth, when we are saying the words, we are, we are creating, we are producing sound code. And with this sound code, we can create the life we desire. Hallelujah. As it is spoke, you are producing the right sound code. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what the situation is. It, is. it doesn't matter what the present circumstances are. How bad they are. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Remember how the earth was. It had no form. It was dark. And the ocean covered the earth. It was empty. But God made it so beautiful with words, with the right sound code. So in the same way, you can change the course of your life with words and make it conform to God's plan for your life. And not only for yourself, look around. Don't be concerning your family, your friends, your relatives, your city, your country, the world. Yes, you can speak forth and produce the right sound code and bring the desired change in those situations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing? Praise the Lord. So make sure that you go ahead. Proclaim God's word over your life, over the, over the situation that you see around yourself, where you think desired changes, where you think necessary, necessary changes, should come hallelujah go ahead and proclaim the word of god and as you do you produce the right sound code there will be a change hallelujah there will be a transformation hallelujah praise the lord glory hallelujah i'm sure you all are excited as you as we have seen our words are so powerful hallelujah so as i said be conscious of the words you speak and make a conscious effort to speak right, to speak in line with God's word and bring forth the change. Hallelujah. As you speak, you will produce the right sound code and it will bring the desired changes. Remember, everything in the world was created and brought into existence through word. And everything is programmed. Everything that has life has everything that has life is been programmed to respond to word. So you cannot keep quiet. You need to speak. You need to speak. In the same way, God spoke. Hallelujah. He created the entire universe. 
you also need to speak. You, you cannot keep quiet. Hallelujah. So go ahead and speak words. Proclaim the word of God and bring that change. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I'm sure you all are excited. Do share this message with your friends. Let them know what a wonderful gift God has given us. Praise the Lord. And as I always tell you, do watch this program again with your friends. Share the link with your friends. Hallelujah. And as I have said, we have started this theme today. There are many more topics which we'll discuss in the coming Sunday. So make sure that you're joining us. Till then, God bless you and bye-bye. Wow! We learned so many beautiful things today. And now it's time for confessions. It's confession time. Lift up your hands and say after me. I am prepared to serve the Lord. I am prepared for the house of God. I am prepared with the gospel. I am prepared to meet the Lord. I am the light of the world. I am perfect in all that I do. Thank you. Bye-bye and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're watching our program for the first time and you have not received Jesus as your Lord, your friend, so here is the opportunity. You can say this prayer with me and be a part of God's mighty family. You can make Jesus your Lord and your friend. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hand towards heaven, close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Remember that it is very important to say this prayer. Hallelujah. So I believe that you all are ready and you can say this prayer after me. Dear Father, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe that Jesus died for me and God raised him from the dead. He is alive today. From this day, Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of my life through him and in his name. I have eternal life. From this day, I am a child of God. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. Now I am born again. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed this prayer with us, congratulations and welcome to God's mighty family. Hallelujah. So if you have prayed this prayer with us, this is the time where I will pray for you. Thank you, Father, for each and everyone who have given their hearts to Christ. I say that Satan has no power over their lives. Jesus is their Lord and Savior from this day. They are protected. I bless them with your word, with your spirit, with your grace. Thank you, Father. We are blessed and are a blessing. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, welcome to God's mighty family. Praise the Lord. This is the time where we can give our offerings. If you're watching us from a center, you can give your offering in the center itself. If you're watching us from your home, our bank details are on the screen. You can speak to your parents and through bank transfer, you can give your offering. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the offering. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity and the grace to bring our offerings. We say that the offerings are sanctified by your spirit. Thank you, Father. As we have given, we receive a multiplied harvest in the name of Jesus. We shall not lack any good things in our life. Thank you, Father. We invoke your blessings upon them and we say that they are multiplied for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. 
praise the Lord. This is the time we'll pray in case you're sick, you're not feeling well, we'll pray for you. And always remember that it is God's will that we should always walk in health. He has given us divine life. So right now, in case you're not well, you can just lay one of your hands over there. Lift up your hand and you can pray with us. Riba shala ba anta be ki anka si alaka ai ki anka si abade ki bo si ta ahan ta e aha ta ba ba ba. I thank you, Father, for each and everyone who are watching this program. If anyone is sick, O oh Lord, I command every sickness, every infirmity to live in the name of Jesus. I command every pain to leave. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I command every part of their body to function properly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Yes, O oh Lord. Divine health is there. Zibo kota ahin tamoha seita baba. Ru baba baba ki bo seita ma ahan tara bo shaitra baba. Thank you, Father. As we are praying, yes, your power is at work, O oh Lord. Yes, each or each one of them is receiving their healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed with us, we, we know that you have received your healing. Our details are on the screen. Do let us know what God has done for you. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all have enjoyed. Uh, I, we have done so much. We worship the Lord. We prayed right now. Let us thank God for his love for all that we have received today. Uh, wherever you are, rise on your feet, lift up your hand, close your eyes. Thank God. Thank you, Father, for your love, for your grace, for your word. I bless each and everyone watching this program. I say they are blessed and are a blessing, O oh Lord. Your word is working mightily in their lives, O oh Lord. They shall not lack any good things in their, in their lives. They are divinely protected. They walk in health, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. They are free to be all that you want them to be, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, um, Coming Sunday, we'll continue with our theme and we'll learn new things. So make sure that you join us the coming Sunday. Until then, God bless you and bye-bye. Wow, I know you had so much of fun today. To enjoy, make sure you watch this with your friends again. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.